In this video, we will talk about how to send post data from React to Django. Means the data which is filled in React form has to be transferred to Django as a backend. Means Django will take care of all the record which React process. To do this, you must have Django installed on your system and you must have React installed on your system because we are using Django as a backend and React as a frontend. In previous video of this series in which we transfer data from Django to React in which we have made two folder here one is backend and second is frontend. Backend deals with all aspect of Django and frontend deal with all aspect of React. So if you are new then don't worry please install a Django application sorry a Django project and put it in your backend and install a react project and put it in a frontend folder and put bot folder in one folder and name anything as you want to name now you could do it separately also but I have put it according to my ease to display it to you so you could do anything have not necessary to put backend and frontend in this world folder you could work on putting these folders separately but you must have django and react server running permanently or concurrently then only you could send post data from react to django so just go on your application in django my application name is display here because third step is to add create view and update view sorry here my application name is integrate the name the name of my project is display so here come in integrate and here in integrate in my application i have made a folder here as you could see from here the name of folder is api you should also make a folder in your application of django project here and in this folder i have made these four files init.py serializes.py urls.py and views.py you should also make these four files after making these four, four files here init.py serializes.py urls.py and views.py in the api folder of your application in the in your django project open the views.py of this api which you have created here in previous video when we have to transfer data from django to react and we have to just view the data then we have used these retrieve api view and list api view of django rest framework so you must have django rest framework installed on your server on your django application if you have not installed django rest from then go on browser and type django rest framework and here in installation just run this command pip run django rest framework on your terminal before doing these things one thing i want to do here first i am going to run the server of both react and django here so i will run the django server in this terminal and react server in command prompt so i am going into backend here in backend i am typing here python manage to run server now this django server is running now open the command prompt now go in your front end so cd front end and just run the server so npm start Now close this so we have to add here create view and update view in this views.py so just copy this class from here now paste it here in the place of this detail i am writing here create and instead of this retrieve api view we need create view create api view this is create api view okay now for update we need update api view so right here update api view 
correct here to create because we are just creating we have adding creating now we need update api view so just paste it and update okay just save it okay we have here update api view not re-update api view now save it now come in the urls.py file of this api folder of your application integrate so here and just give that url pattern now firstly we have detail view and list view but now we have added create view and update view also so just add here create view and update view and also we have to make a url here so just copy this from here and paste it here in the place of this detail view we need here create view also. and here we have update view okay now list view detail view create view update view list view and detail view is for sending the data or viewing the django data in react but for updating and creating data from react to django we need this data create view and update view which we have imported for create you, you need to just here change this pk to create and for update you need here update so pk update save it now we have all we have also add the view function in url in this video we have done all the work from the django in next video we will continue with the work that is remaining with react and if you have not watched the previous video of this series in which we have installed Django Rest frame, Rest framework and include this in settings.py and in previous video we have also display API data from Django to in React also. So next video we will continue with the React part of this how to send post data from React to Django. Thank you.